Hey, Screaming Geek Me here. I'm Jerry the Geek. Uh, let's talk about the Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition on uh, 4K. But before we do, if you like 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, home theater, movies, Xbox, you know, check out my other videos on my channel as I do unboxings, reviews, discussions, you know, updates. I even do some custom cover stuff. So, you know, check those out. Like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. So let's talk about Batman vs. Superman on 4K, you know, the Ultimate Edition. You know, the movie came out in 2016. You got Amy Adams, uh, Henry Cavill coming back. Then you got, uh, you're got adding in uh, Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne Batman, Jeremy Irons, and some other ones they brought in. And, of course, directed again by uh, Zack Snyder. Though the movie is, you know, still pretty good. I've only seen it a couple of times. I've never watched a theatrical version. Um, this extended cut is 31 minutes longer, and it's rated R. The theatrical was rated PG-13, so they added in a lot of violence. And, of course, it is, I mean, when it comes to the Batman character, it is a, it's a much darker tone for him. You know, more of the vigilante style. Now, the first half of the movie is kind of a little slow, because they're really developing the story, you know, the you know, building a hatred between the two characters. You know, if you watch this right after you watch Man of Steel, you know, Man of Steel, they really set the bar high. I mean, that was just freaking phenomenal. And then you watch this, and it's not, it's, you know, it's not in the same league. But, I mean, it's, it's more of a popcorn movie. It's still really good. It's, you know, it's got some great action in it. It's just not on the same level as Man of Steel. Now, this 4K release, um, this came out in 2021. It did come out in 4K back in 2016. You can see here, it had a different cover. It actually included both cuts of the film. But apparently, there was a color issue. And over time, there was a lot of complaints. And uh, they waited around. And then with the Zack Snyder's Justice League getting released, they decided to go back in and fix those things. So that's what this is, is the actual corrected version of it. It's called, you know, when you're looking online, you'll see the cover, the dif differences. You want to look for this. You want to look for this one. They'll say uh, Ultimate Edition Remastered. You know, the movie was originally filmed in a 35mm and 65mm IMAX. Um, finished with a 4K digital intermediate. And if I remember right, it said this is one of Warner Brothers' first... The uh, 4K Digital Intermediates, I'm thinking I could be wrong, but I thought that that's why I read. And finished with HDR10. Uh, phenomenal presentation here, is as expected. Definitely it has a really gritty look through a lot of it. You know, color tones, you know, seem kind of muted. You know, the colors pop here and there. You know, they just, I think they went for a darker tone here. You know, it doesn't really shine like you would expect, but... You know, some great details, you know, textures really pop on the uniforms. You know, solid blacks and the whites really pop, the in-depth and the shadows. And different black textures. Uh, a couple of scenes when you, know, you got uh, Bruce Wayne sitting in a cave with Alfred. And just the different textures of the blacks, the different shades, really comes out. They're really very impressive here. Now, as far as the Blu-ray comparison... This edition did not come with a Blu-ray, just a 4K, where the first edition did have the Blu-ray with it. So I have no comparison shots here, just, you know, some screen, you know, check out the screenshots of the 4K here. We'll come back in a couple of minutes. We'll talk about the audio packaging and the bonus features. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes.
So for the audio, they gave us a Dolby Atmos track here. I don't have Dolby Atmos. I'd love to upgrade to that, but you know, I just can't afford and just don't have the room for a proper setup. So you know, I'm just stuck with a 5.0 at the moment. Yeah, 5.0, not 5.1. I don't have a subwoofer, but my mains kick out enough freaking bass. I don't need a subwoofer. But the audio tracker here is phenomenal. It does have some great low end bass here. Great uh, dialogue, great use of surrounds. A nice balancer out. Very impressive track here. Now for the packaging, I can't remember if this came with a step cover or not. If I did, I threw it out because I've had this for a little while. You know, the standard keep case. Again, just a 4K, no Blu-ray. Did come with a digital code as well. Now for the bonus features, not a lot. Since it's only the 4K, there's not much here. You got an introduction by Zack Snyder and also an audio commentary with him. And that's basically it. So to wrap it up, great solid release here on 4K. I would definitely recommend, you know, if you like the Batman Superman characters, it's definitely a must-have for your collection. But again, make sure you get the right version of this. You know, get this cover as this has a is the remastered has the uh, corrections of the colors. Again, this is the first one that came out. You do not want this one. You know, right now it's running a uh, seventeen ninety nine on Amazon. You know, Grub has their uh, crazy days uh, sale going on right now, free uh, three for forty five. But the problem is they've got the when it comes to Batman versus Superman. They don't have this version. They've got the original. So I would suggest maybe getting the Man of Steel and uh, Justice League from Grub. And maybe get, pick up this one from Amazon. Uh, otherwise, you can get the trilogy set here. And it's running at about $65, $70. So I would suggest buying them individually. It'd be much cheaper that way. So that pretty much does it for my take on the 4K Batman vs. Superman. You know, check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. And we'll see you soon. Geek out.